It's BBC London 94.9 and it's now 7.52. Now, the government's free childcare scheme is facing, and I quote, chronic underfunding. A report commissioned by the Preschool Learning Alliance says there is only enough money to cover four out of every five children taking up the offer. Local authorities currently receive money from the government to pay for up to 15 hours of free childcare a week. Weekly nursery costs for children under two in London is just around £140 a week. And joining us now is Paula Schoen, manager of West Street Nursery in Bexley. Good morning, Paula. Good morning. So, roughly what percentage of children in your nursery are there f- for free, on a free place? Um, well, my nursery is a 70 place nursery, and I've been a, m- a manager for the last eight years. And I must admit, in the last few years, there's been a really big increase. So, the last year, I have literally three quarters of my 70 percent, 70 children. Uh, and, that are and, and, what, and, and why do you think that is? Um, well, the two-year funding has made, been made available um, quite widely for the um, for families, especially in the area of um, where my nursery is. The criteria for the parents is where West Street Nursery is. It is in a, a deprived area, so they are reaching the criteria more. And most parents, um, obviously, are... Um, coming to the nursery for the 15 hours, the three-year-olds as well. Does this mean that they might have part-time jobs? Are they simply placing the children in the nursery then to do work at home or whatever? They're not necessarily in work? Um, I think there is a... In my nursery, obviously, I can only speak for my nursery, there's a lot of parents that are going back to work, but I must admit, only literally working the 16 hours... So it's part-time work because they can put their children into this free childcare for that period. So, in fact, maybe they'd be encouraged into the world of work more fully if, in fact, they could get more help, more hours a week at the nursery. Um, yes, I, I can see that point of view, but it doesn't actually help the nurseries run. Um, the money that the, the government, the local authorities are giving us is, um, as the preschool learning lines of stress, is only four out of every five children. So we are actually... Um, running at a loss. We're so not you're actually in- having to fund. You're actually having to fund a government scheme, essentially. The organ- our organisations have to. Yeah, it's becoming that. It's coming to that now. And to be quite honest, um, as a managed running on a very tight budget string, um, we have to re- rely on lots of fundraising. And obviously, at the you know the point of call is always the children. So it's very hard all the time to. Um, provide um, a high quality childcare. So, so what happens then, Paula? I might, I might take my children along, but if the government yeah. funds aren't forthcoming, you still have a duty to take my children for 15 hours a week, but you have to provide the money effectively. You have to cover that, do you? Is that how it works? Exactly. Yes, that's how it works. Yeah, if, I, if you come to my nursery now, and obviously if there was availability and I could give you the 15 hours, then, yeah, that's what happens. But... What so what you you admit you you try and claim the money back though further down the line would you or are you saying that if you you take these children on and never get the money back for them? Oh no, we ca- if you come to the nursery and you you're you're alleged to have to have the money like your child it, the term after their age free, if it, we we can claim the money the government pay that money but it's not actually um, what the child costs. Oh, I like, see what you mean. So you're only yeah, really getting 80% of the money. costs. You're not. Mm, you're, yeah. There's not one out of every five children who are not getting any money at all. It's simply that the money's no. being spread too thin, right? No. So, so, no, so, no, so what? What about in the future then? If the if this doesn't actually, if this funding gap is not filled, what will happen? Well, it's quite scary, really, because um, obviously um, I have the the overheads to pay in a nursery, as I've already said, um, staff costs, rents resources um obviously all the all the all my staff are fully qualified um but it is a hell of a strain on a manager of a nursery and an organization so really you need it's some kind of london you good. need some kind of london waiting or a different london amount of money made available because london childcare is more expensive definitely because the thing is at the end of the day the um the nurseries have to increase increase their childcare oh. costs Thank you for joining us. Paul is shown there, manager of West Street Nursery in Bexley, talking to BBC London 94.9, where it's 7.57.